Hey everyone, welcome back to Speak Healthy. Today, we're going to discuss whether or not red meat is actually linked to heart disease. Red meat has been a staple in many diets around the world for centuries, providing a rich source of protein, iron, and other essential nutrients. However, over the past few decades, concerns have been raised about the potential health risks associated with consuming large amounts of red meat, particularly when it comes to heart disease. While the evidence is not conclusive, several studies have suggested that there may be a link between red meat consumption and an increased risk of heart disease. In this video, we will take a closer look at the evidence and explore some of the reasons why red meat may be associated with heart disease, as well as provide tips for consuming red meat in moderation as part of a healthy and balanced diet. Number 1 Studies Linking Red Meat Consumption to Heart Disease There have been many studies conducted over the past few decades examining the potential link between red meat consumption and heart disease. Some of the most notable studies include the Nurses' Health Study and the Health Professionals' Follow-Up Study, both of which were large-scale, long-term studies that followed thousands of participants over several years. In the Nurses' Health Study, researchers found that women who consumed high amounts of red meat had a 30% higher risk of developing coronary heart disease compared to those who consumed lower amounts of red meat. Similarly, in the health professional's follow-up study, men who consumed high amounts of red meat had a 27% higher risk of developing coronary heart disease compared to those who consumed lower amounts. Other studies have found similar results. For example, a 2010 meta-analysis of 20 studies found that people who consumed the highest amounts of red meat had a 42% higher risk of developing coronary heart disease compared to those who consumed the lowest amounts. It's worth noting that not all studies have found a strong link between red meat consumption and heart disease, and the evidence is not yet conclusive. However, given the consistency of the findings across many different studies, it seems likely that there is some sort of association between the two. While it's not entirely clear why red meat consumption might increase the risk of heart disease, the high levels of saturated fat and cholesterol in red meat are likely to play a role. In addition, other compounds found in red meat, such as heme iron and certain types of amino acids, may also contribute to the increased risk of heart disease. Number 2. Saturated Fat and Cholesterol Saturated fat and cholesterol are two substances commonly found in red meat that are known to increase the risk of heart disease. Saturated fat is a type of fat that is solid at room temperature and is typically found in animal-based foods such as meat, cheese, and butter. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that is found in animal products, including red meat. When consumed in high amounts, saturated fat and cholesterol can contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which can narrow the blood vessels and increase the risk of heart disease. Over time, this buildup can lead to atherosclerosis, a condition in which the arteries become hard and narrow, reducing blood flow to the heart and increasing the risk of heart attack or stroke. In addition to contributing to atherosclerosis, saturated fat and cholesterol can also increase levels of LDL cholesterol, also known as bad cholesterol, in the blood. High levels of LDL cholesterol have been shown to increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's worth noting that not all types of saturated fat are created equal. Some studies have suggested that certain types of saturated fat, such as those found in coconut oil, may not be as harmful to the cardiovascular system as others. However, it's still recommended to consume saturated fat in moderation as part of a healthy and balanced diet. Number 3. Heme iron and other compounds in red meat. Heme iron is a type of iron that is found in red meat, particularly in beef and lamb. Unlike non-heme iron, which is found in plant-based foods and is less readily absorbed by the body, heme iron is easily absorbed and can contribute to the accumulation of iron in the body. Some studies have suggested that high levels of iron in the body may be linked to an increased risk of heart disease. In addition to heme iron, red meat also contains other compounds that may contribute to an increased risk of heart disease. For example, one such compound is L-carnitine, an amino acid that is found in high amounts in red meat. In the body, L-carnitine is converted into a substance called trimethylamine N-oxide (TMAO), which has been linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Another compound found in red meat is advanced glycation end products (AGEs), which are formed when proteins and fats in meat are cooked at high temperatures. AGEs have been shown to contribute to oxidative stress and inflammation in the body, which can damage the blood vessels and increase the risk of heart disease. 
It's worth noting that not all types of red meat contain the same amounts of heme iron, L-carnitine, and ages. For example, beef and lamb tend to contain higher amounts of heme iron compared to pork and chicken. Similarly, cooking methods such as grilling or frying can lead to the formation of more ages compared to cooking methods such as baking or boiling. Number 4. Processed Meats Processed meats are meats that have been preserved by smoking, curing, salting, or adding preservatives. These meats are typically higher in fat, salt, and additives compared to unprocessed meats and are often consumed in larger quantities. As a result, they are even more strongly linked to heart disease than unprocessed red meat. One reason for this is that processed meats are often high in sodium, which can contribute to high blood pressure, a major risk factor for heart disease. Additionally, many processed meats are high in saturated fat and cholesterol, which can contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries and increase the risk of heart disease. Common examples of processed meats include bacon, sausage, hot dogs, deli meats, and canned meats such as spam. These meats are often added to sandwiches, pizzas, and other processed foods, making it easy to consume large quantities without realizing it. Number 5. Other Lifestyle Factors Red meat consumption is just one of many factors that can contribute to the development of heart disease. Other lifestyle factors that can increase the risk of heart disease include smoking, lack of exercise, and chronic stress. Smoking is a major risk factor for heart disease as it damages the lining of the arteries and causes them to narrow, increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. Quitting smoking is one of the most important steps the person can take to reduce their risk of heart disease. Lack of exercise is also a significant risk factor for heart disease. Regular exercise can help lower blood pressure, reduce cholesterol levels, and improve overall cardiovascular health. Experts recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise per week, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. Chronic stress can also contribute to the development of heart disease. When a person experiences chronic stress, their body produces stress hormones that can increase blood pressure and heart rate, putting additional strain on the cardiovascular system. Finding healthy ways to manage stress, such as meditation, yoga, or spending time in nature, can help reduce this risk. Other lifestyle factors that can increase the risk of heart disease include a diet high in saturated and trans fats, excess alcohol consumption, and obesity. To reduce the risk of heart disease, it's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, stress management, and avoidance of smoking and excess alcohol consumption. Number 6. Moderation and Balance It's important to note that consuming red meat in moderation as part of a balanced diet is unlikely to cause significant harm. Red meat can provide important nutrients such as protein, iron, and vitamin B12, which are essential for overall health. To incorporate red meat into a healthy diet, it's important to choose lean cuts of meat and to limit portion sizes. Opting for lean cuts, such as sirloin, tenderloin, and flank steak, can help reduce intake of saturated fat and cholesterol. It's also recommended to choose grass-fed or organic meat whenever possible, as these options tend to have a healthier fat profile. Balancing meat consumption with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is also important for overall health. Experts recommend a diet that emphasizes plant-based foods, with meat and other animal products as a smaller part of the overall diet. It's also important to vary protein sources and include other sources of lean protein such as fish, poultry, beans, and tofu. When preparing red meat, it's important to avoid unhealthy cooking methods such as frying or grilling at high temperatures, which can produce harmful compounds. Instead, choose healthier cooking methods such as baking, broiling, or roasting. While excessive consumption of red meat has been linked to an increased risk of heart disease, consuming red meat in moderation as part of a balanced diet is unlikely to cause significant harm. By choosing lean cuts of meat, balancing meat consumption with plant-based foods, and preparing meat using healthy cooking methods, individuals can incorporate red meat into a healthy diet while still reducing their risk of heart disease.